Texan Global School. Sets by extension and comprehension. There are two general ways to represent sets, by extension and comprehension. By extension, sets contain each of its elements within braces, separated by commas and ordered. And sets by comprehension are those that contain a common characteristic of the elements. Let's look at the following example. Express the set that represents the vowels by extension and comprehension. As we know, the set by extension contains all the elements. Therefore, the set of vowels A includes the elements A, he, I, O, U. In the set by comprehension, we observe that the common characteristic is that the elements must be vowels. Therefore, the set A can be represented as all the elements of X, such that X belongs to the vowels. Let's look at another example. Express the set that represents the digits by extension and comprehension. As we know, the set by extension is one that contains all the elements. Therefore, the set B contains the elements 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. For the set by comprehension, we observe that the common characteristic is that they are digits, therefore, it is concluded that the set B is equal to all the elements of X, such that X belongs to the digits. Let's move on to one last example. Express the set that represents the seasons of the year by extension and comprehension. As the set by extension contains all the elements, therefore, the set of the seasons of the year C includes the elements spring, summer, autumn, and winter. For the set by comprehension, we observe that the common characteristic is that they are seasons of the year. Therefore, it is concluded that the set C is equal to all the elements of X, such that X belongs to the seasons of the year. Copyright 2021. All rights reserved to Texan Global School, LLC. www.texanglobalschool.com.